Hi guys, welcome to the Unpopular Opinion. I'm Prim. I'm Kemi. Claire. And we are real, raw, and, and we're, we're saying, saying it all. Um, so guys, first of all, it's been a long, long sabbatical. So welcome back to us. This means we have money. We've afforded, <laughs> we've afforded videos. We have money. money. But does yeah. it, does it though? Anyway, we are back. Thank you for being patient with us. Um, congratulations to us and to you on the live show. Live show. Well done. Oh, you guys Can you take a sec to just... Thank you. Let's like... Thank you. We are... Let me Our clap closer community. to the mic so that you can hear <laughs> the hand clap. Our community, thank you so, so much for the yeah, support. Yeah. We could never, ever have imagined it to be that good. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, it also exceeded our expectations. Yeah. Like, we were the ones planning it, but we were like... Okay, true, true, true. Has true, it true. sunk in for any of you yet? <sighs> Still. Still, yeah. Like, each time you see, like, more clips from people... There's that, oh my God, like the audience we was did like that. this. Yes, we did that. We did that. Guys, yeah. your dreams are valid. Like we could never have even thought that we would walk on stages. That we would walk even. on stages yeah. with hundreds of people clapping. Yeah. 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 Like, it was so surreal. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? It anyway, was actually really But it was amazing. beautiful. Thanks guys for supporting us like that. Our online audience as well. You guys were online looking for all the updates. In every... On every clip, people tell you, "Oh, I didn't, I wasn't for the show, but I saw it on so many people's status." Like, yeah. we're waiting. So, thank you. It was amazing. Thank you, thank you for all the support. We really loved, loved, we loved doing it. Yeah. We were scared, but also excited. And maybe that's like a whole conversation more for another day, like a yeah. whole other day when we can Do talk it about scared. it. Yeah, we were very. Mm, don't see us on stage glittering, and you think we were kawa. We were in it, yeah. and also just ugh, our sponsors. I can't. Our sponsors. I can't. Can we talk about I FX Pesa? I like... can't. I can't. Anyway. Anyway. Another day. Another day. We're about to get into that. But anyway, as the title suggests, we want to I want to talk about um, something. Actually, when we were at an event recently that Zerida hosted, um, Tura was there. The she's a psycho. Ha, huh, you guys. I, I feel like I won't say it badly. Psychotherapist. Therapy. If I've gotten it wrong, feel free to leave all the comments and correct me. But she's oh, she's so dope. Yeah, she's and she she talked about a couple of things. One of the things she talked about was being a confident woman and how that's been. How many times it's a negative thing? Like you go into spaces and you're confident, and it's like, does the world hate confident women? Like, do we hate? How are we treating confident women? And it's like a whole conversation. So we're like, you yeah. know what, let's go on the show and, and actually talk. talk about it. Yeah. Talk about being a confident woman yeah. in this world that's telling you, yes, you need to be confident. Take yeah. over. I take your space. But not confident. That, that is too confident, yeah. you know. Reduce I, code. Yeah, mm. reduce. Like reduce maybe code. just a little bit less. <laughs> so I guess that's the first thing is like, have you, I know you all prob we all probably all have in different ways, but um, what's the situation that you've been in where it's like, you're doing the confident thing, but then it's like, maybe that's too much. Reduce, reduce a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you go. Um, when uh, when we talked about uh, like people, first of all, when you ask the question like, uh, do we hate confident women? I feel like that's a question we need to ask ourselves personally, like each of us. Each time you How see you a woman about this that confident is confident woman. and living her life and yeah. she's happy, and you find some, a problem with that, I don't know if you guys have seen a statement like that. Check yourself. Yeah. So each time you see uh, like someone who is just boldly taking, you know, like steps and just being out daring to be bold and out there, ask yourself, do, do, I, do I hate that? But uh, recently, before we even delve in, recently, um, uh, during, I, I've not watched the Barbie movie, but for those that have watched it, there's, there's some lines that were delivered by America, uh, America Ferreira, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it the right way. Uh, that I wanted us to, that I wanted go to read through, for you guys, yeah. that I wanted us to go through, and I'm hoping that we can send it to our editorial team, a clip, and then they see they see what she said, and she said something. I think the last line, the last lines are what uh, really resonated with me. So she, it's a very long speech that I'm not going to go into, but she said something like, "I'm just so tired of watching myself and every other single and every single other woman tie herself in two knots so that people will like, like us." Her. And if all of that is also true for a doll just representing a woman, then I don't even know the last part. Really, I wasn't meant to read. But anyway, she's, there's something like you have to never get old, never be rude, never show off, never be selfish, never fall down, never fail, never show fear, never get out of line. It's too hard. It's too contradictory. And everybody and nobody gives you a mid one says, 
thank you. And it turns out, in fact, that not only are you doing everything wrong, but also everything is your fault. And that's when now she, 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 she ends it by saying, I'm just so tired of watching myself and every other single woman tie herself in two knots yeah. so that people will like us. Um, it's, it's so funny that that's, we live our lives like, like nothing has ever summed up women. Like, so well. So well. Yes. So I watched so well. it like over five times on repeat. So yeah. well. I was like, oh my God, you cannot be too beautiful. You know, but because also don't be you have too to ugly. be beautiful. You have yes. to look after yourself. Yes. But you can't also be too ugly. Also yes. dress what how you want, but also don't dress provocatively. Yes. Do you yes. But show some skin. Yeah, but not show too some much. skin, but yes. not too much. Be beautiful, but not too much. You tell. And I'm like, she said, sorry. you have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. You're supposed to love being a mother, but don't talk about your, your kids, kids all that damn much. time. I was like, oh my god. You have to be a career woman, but also always be looking out for people. You have to answer for man's for men's bad behavior, which is insane. But if you point out that you, but if you point that out, you're accused of complaining. That is you're, so true. It's it's like you can't win. It, you can't win as you a know, woman. You just like can't win. Yeah. Really you just like cannot win. And the my biggest issue is it's the women. That's what I was going to say. It starts there. The it starts there. It it's starts it's there. It's us women. Um, it when, starts there. You know, when, when, uh, when usually when, let's say, a girl's prov uh, dressed provocatively um, uh, in a, let's say, skimpy dress, um, who's the first person to say, how was she dressed? Women. During rape. Like, like when there's rape. Yeah. And someone like, like oh, how was she but dressed? But you said them. You I've seen a lot smart. of these comments online and they're coming from women. You know, that these women are priding themselves from wearing Mama Teresa skirts, mm. you know, and then blaming. You think you're better off than other exactly. people. Exactly. And for me... <sighs> I remember when Murugi bought her Land Rover Discovery, someone left a comment, a lady left a comment, because, you know, she, took, she had a whole photo shoot in yeah, her remember, cute, yeah. like you know, romper. play suit, yeah. a romper. Yeah. Yeah. And someone is like, oh, and she was talking about her hard work and how far she has come. It was such a milestone. It was such a moment. I mean, as a woman, as an influencer, and like her story, if you followed her journey, right? And then a woman leaves a comment under her post like, oh, please, uh, with you dressed like that, something I'll, I'm just paraphrasing, along the lines of, with you dressed like that, we know where you got the car from. And I'll never forget, there's a man who came to her defense and said, since you know where she got it from, since you can also dress the same way, go and by all means, go and dress the same way and get that A, and get the Land Rover. Go and, go and dress the same way. Do you, since you know, you claim to know everything she has done to get it, you also go and do the same thing. Yeah. I see how we are very quick to, when women are actually, do you not notice that there, there are so many times in workplaces where women will be promoted and it's the women it's that are going to sit in a corner and say she slept with so-and-so. She slept, so -and -so. Around. She slept with so-and-so. because so. she, she flats with the yes. boss. Or yes, Things yes. like that. Yes. It can't be because yes. of your own yes. work and yeah. merit. It has to be because a man, you have given yourself to a man of yeah. some sort. Yeah. But also, I'm glad that we are in a time where we are like pointing it out so much more clearly. I feel like it's helping us reassess ourselves. Yes. Like yeah. to, yes. to take time and stop and be like, mm. How am I responding? I feel like now What's where we my are, response, I stop yes. myself so many times like when I'm about to respond to something. Like maybe you see a woman re has reacted a certain way. Back then it would have been easier to just be like, oh, but then she saw this, but then she saw that. But now yeah. I'd be thinking, mm. Mm. but also, hold on. Yeah. This and this is not, like things are not that, because we grew up and it's the natural thing. Mm. Oh, that was her fault. She should have dressed a certain yes. way. This person should have. Yes. She's being too Red bossy. lipstick was Stupid. for prostitutes. Prostitute. Red powder. Vanish. Red vanish. Red vanish at all. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you know? I feel like now it's nice that we talk about it much more. I feel yeah. like women are a lot more, we hold ourselves better. Like mm. if I stop and be like, mm, actually, no, I can't just react can't like just, that yeah. immediately. What, yeah. if, what if I talk to her? Yeah. yeah. Instead of going and yeah. gossiping with some yes, man with some or some other woman. About it, yes. You know, yes. so I think like it's nice. We're yeah. not there, but it's a nice place we are in where we actually talk about this thing yeah. a little bit better. So it's something, and I think we should continue to talk. I think, I think we the should. More we talk. I'm glad we are doing this topic because I feel like it's going to help us uh, call ourselves out, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because I know that at every point you can find yourself. We're not sitting, we're not talking about it as the ones who have done better, as yes. the, no. the ones who don't know we do it we do it yeah. but i feel like i want us to get to a level where we catch ourselves yeah you stop thinking when, this yeah, way like think i want to be able to question turn, myself turn yes. it around turn it on its head yeah, whenever yeah. you're disliking someone for being confident for being yeah catch There's yourself something and turn it around lydia shared recently and nothing has ever seemed so true she's i took a screenshot of it 
and mm, 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 I wish I could find it. She shared something like, if I think if I'm too happy, and something like, you're you're just. Do you know how you see other people? Dare? It's like being in a in a place where you all don't like, right? Mm. And you see someone daring to leave that place. Mm. Do you know how mm -hmm. it makes you feel? It makes you feel so. Mm. So bad, so uncomfortable. Yes. Like, like, how dare you? Yeah. Yes, it's like they are, they are saying something about you. Mm. Yeah, like how? Uh -huh. You feel like, like this person is. How dare you leave you. us behind? Yes. yes. How yes. dare you leave us behind? Like, yeah. let's say we all just used to, just you know, procrastinate. We're all lazy. We're not doing. And then someone else is like, you know what? I'm turning. I'm turning my life, and I'm going to turn this around, and I'm not going to let it hold me back anymore. I'm going to go for what I actually want. Yeah. It feels. It feels like how dare you how dare you go and be alive? How dare you go and actually take your life back yeah, and, and yeah. that kind of thing? And let's yes. talk about a bit about the, the where women are expected to be selfless, accommodating and always being available for other people except mm. herself. Except for oh, you get it. It's it's as a wife and mother who's also working. Your hair really looks nice. Like Thank I can't you. stop. Thank like you. your face looks <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Talia Frost. Shameless plug. Um, so, uh, as being both a mother, a wife, and a, a working woman, mm. there is no way in this life you can be good at all things at the same time. Yeah, there's one that suffers at some point. Always. And another there's always one point, yeah. that suffers. Mm. Something yeah. needs you more than the other. Actually, they all need you equally. You just mm. need to, in the moment, what is not going to die mm. right now, what mm. needs me. And we need to change the perception because... We have said, society has gone and said, women, your role is first to your home mm. and to your husband and to your child. You know, but society, I mean, economy. Says economy is not, is not says agreeing. Different. The economy oh my does God. not discriminate it says that anymore. Oh my God, I wish the economy would be like, yes. we're, going to be, yeah. we're going to be kinder to the women because Thank guess you. what? They're not earning. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so... As a woman, um, and I see it from being married, I come home and there's all these things I have to do. My hus yeah. hus husband comes home to chill That's and true. relax. He leaves his work at work. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. But for me, I, when I come home now, I also need to make you sure start that I'm managed job. and what's not and yeah. what's not. God forbid the food is bad. Yeah. That day that I didn't cook, but yeah. I needed to make sure that it was mm, cooked. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. God forbid there's no what. On that, like, that was the shopping list, yeah, you know, like why didn't you know? Like it's you who is supposed there to know go. what Even me, I judge shopping we do some. for the you house. Get, actually, yes. no, I don't judge myself any longer. I lie. Mm. I'm lying. <laughs> I just I let go. There's something. Mm. I'm actually not a good homemaker. Mm. Me personally, mm. Mm. I'm really not. Mm. You know, I have two ladies there that help me. I'm so glad you're, you're actually saying this out loud, home. right? Yeah, like, I'm not a good home homemaker. Yeah. I am good money maker. Yeah, you get. I'm not a good homemaker. Yeah. I cannot be good at both. Yeah. There is no world in which a woman is good at making at everything. At everything, at everything, everything right? yeah, yes. all the time. Yes. Yeah, there's so many things. Like even being a mom. Before I became a mom, I had all these dreams that had been mm. that I thought I'd do with my daughter. I'm a Montessori teacher. Mm. There's so many things. Bukonas I wanted to build for her. Kinsey, games I wanted to build for my land child. Land colors on her own. Be <laughs> 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 um, quiet. So. There's so many things I would love to be, mm. but usually when I'm at home, I'm tired. Mm. Mm. I give my daughter maybe 30 minutes to an hour of exclusive time, and then I just mm. need to rest because I've had yeah. a really long day. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That, no, that you're talking about it, like being a mom, being a this, being a that. It's also just like being a boss. Yeah. Remember how we were talking about how um, women, like women, we often like come and be, female bosses are bad, female bosses are always this, female bosses are always that, but do we ever stop to think about how we treat female bosses? They're Why different. are they like that? They yeah. have to be ball busters yeah. in order to be respected. 100%. And not just by men, by women, by women as, well. as well. Because even they we have treat to do them so poorly. So much more. Yeah, even we so treat them poorly. More. We're yeah. not treating female bosses the way we treat our yeah. male bosses. Yeah. So of course they're going to end up doing those things. I think of true. course they're going have to try to assert yes. themselves like excessive. They, they're doing excessive. A lot of, they and when they do, to be and when they do, people are like, ah, women are too emotional. Do you see why she's like that? People even make snacks 
Naki comments like, oh, I think her husband, you know, she's she's not having uh-huh. sex. She, she needs to be. Uh, they keep on bringing that when he's rude. They're she like, oh, she's late. like that because you know she doesn't have children. Eh? She has been struggling to how to conceive. People bring down like when a female mm. boss in the like let's say goes off on a worker, they take it down to her personality. They take it down to Which they attack her humanity. You understand? Yeah. Oh, she doesn't keep have kids. That's why she like. But trust me, a gentleman will also your male boss will also be going through all those things and people just be like hey, no, today he's having a bad like, day yeah, they'll be like oh he's having a bad day so women it's not because he's not has i think she it's, it's her period <laughs> she's on her period it's yeah. so demeaning yes and you have both the male workers and the female workers sitting and actually discussing Sharing, over no? man you your, your boss is on her period me. today she's in menopause yeah. she's in someone oh once told me i'd like to see how you are with your husband how does he keep put up with you you, I'm not like, a dog yeah, to be put up yeah, with. Yeah. I'm not a child to be put up yeah. with. I'm an adult and when I get home, I know my role. Yeah. You know, obviously, there's a bit of conflict, mm. but not for because I am a, a confident. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You get, and that, let's not talk about men who allow women to grow and be confident. Now, those are the real MVPs. Men who allow who their flourish. women to flourish yeah. because they are not threatened. Mm. Yeah you know, by this confidence, by this growth, mm. you get. Uh, for me, those are the real MVPs. Shout out that to when you, you have that man, Shout listen. Uh, recently, uh, when? The other day, was it yesterday? We were... Uh, there's, there's a t- no, recently I did stories of fathers, when I was running stories of fathers, and I saw stories of people te- saying, like when people submitted saying that, Oh, my mom was not educated. My dad took her back to school, taught her English, taught her accounts, how taught her what, so that she could run her own businesses. And I'm like, like, and they're like, yeah, like now there's one who told me I, I didn't get to post that one. Like my mom now runs her own business. She's, she's excelling. Like we all know that mommy has more money than our yeah, father, yeah. but the way he has loved her, the way he has supported her, as in, you know, this is a, like this person by now could have been like, oh, why did I even educate her? Why did I do these things for her and whatnot? But there she is, flourishing and excelling, and yeah. and, and all is well with her. the world. Yeah. And he's with her. as well. My, yeah. my dad, you guys, my dad was an, an amazing. I keep saying this. He was a feminist. That he didn't know. He just didn't know what it was. Yeah. He was a feminist. Yeah. In our home, there were no gender roles mm. ever, even between him and my mom. Sometimes my mom, I like you go home and tell stories of, of someone's husband said she's like shit, yeah. you know, mm. like why, why, why is this man now coming home and saying for you you come home, mm. come home late, mm. you get, but your wife can't home come home late. What is that? Yeah. What are you ra- Are you? Uh, did you marry your child? Yeah, yeah. You get, and sometimes and my dad, my dad did not put any rules. My dad would be in the kitchen. My dad would would uh, is the one who used to shop in the market. Because mm. my she knew my mom was a supermarket shopper. Mm. My dad yeah, like you. go to the like me. Yeah. 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 I'm like I've I've never seen my mother in the kitchen in the in the market. So even mm. I didn't know how to do it. My dad when would have visitors, he was the one in the kitchen. Mm. He was the one making sure organizing everything, mm. all these things. Mm. Because he was good at it. Mm. Yeah. He was so good at it. Yeah. And even me in my own home, I'm I'm not you guys, I'm not a homemaker. I have I'm not good at it mm. at all. I know that okay. basics, but and it's, and okay. it's okay. It's okay. And it's okay. And oh my God, the it's thing like I really appreciate about that the we men that realize that mm. these are not gender. These are not gender. It is your home. Yeah. They are also your visitors. Why are you burdening mm. your woman? If she wants to do it, fair enough. Mm. But for me, you guys, I think there are times. There's a time um, we had lost folks at home. I do not know whether where they had gone. Those but folks are have, always walking. Walk. You've, not had, You've not had them at night. You've not had them leave your house at night. <laughs> folks and schools really are always walk. leaving. So we had no cutlery. So for me, I was okay with buying those new folks at the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't see anything wrong <laughs> with it. <My laughs> the plastic was ones. <laughs> The, the plastic, plastic ones, hmm. this bo- the bo- metal ones, but those ones are that, dead yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that you can twist. And I, for me, I didn't even know my heart. that. <laughs> exactly. Like, if I have some of them right now, and I don't even use them. Like, you can't do yeah. anything with those bo- yeah. folks. Yeah. They're like baby folks. Yeah. Um, but I didn't realize it at that moment that this is not what we can give <laughs> to guests. You get Philip was appalled. <laughs> he went and drove to the supermarket and got actual folks. Yeah. You get, but, and that's 
he, he's, he's the, the one who's going to be like, okay, we'll have a salad and this and mm. this and that, yeah. you know, and he will be in the kitchen while I hold down the fort with the baby. Mm. And, and he really, really supports me that way because he knows if I'm the one in charge, <laughs> there's so many things that are going <laughs> to go wrong and yeah. I'm not even going to realize it. You get it? Yeah. I, I, might not, I might forget to put, I put things on the sepichi. <laughs> from the sepichi to, <laughs> to, to the, the dining. Table. You get But for me, I don't see what, what is the problem. What, to, what, to do what is wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> you get, and so for him, he's been very, very keen. Mm. And it's, he's good at it. He's yeah. really good at it, you I know? Think, um, and mm. What you're saying about just like those roles, eh? I think even the, this whole thing of hating confident women, mm. it impacts us so like strongly as women. Mm. It's why even us, we see ourselves in certain roles and sometimes yeah. fail to break out of them. Because mm. yeah. I don't know, like if you grow up and that's all they're telling you, that's who you are. Mm. A woman does this and mm. then she does this. Then she gets married and mm. she has a home and then she does mm. all these things. And you feel so restricted. That's why a lot of us like are trying to break out of the things even mm. now we are still breaking yeah trying to break out and then when you break out it's actually that thing you are reading of america ferrera mm. it's like you break out oh you found this space i'm going to do this yeah. i'm going to do business i'm going to do Everyone what i'm going to like what the hell are you and doing? then it's like how oh, dare you're you do that now yeah how dare you come, come back a bit yes. just yes. enough yes. Yeah. for us to be, be comfortable, comfortable. Mm. and then it's like you always try to risk a balancing yeah thank, thank you. you like no now i'm doing this and then we start to struggle with like yeah. you know on the show we're talking about um leaning into mm. your feminine energy mm. Then it becomes so hard to lean into your feminine, but then you're still trying to lean into your masculine. Mm. Then you're in the you get very confused mm. actually. I think yeah. a lot of I feel women, like in women the, live a life of confusion, die like, confused. Even I, mean, like, so confused I feel like in the in the mind. coffin, you know how they do like this. But I'm sure women will just be like like yeah. Like if they allowed us, it would just be in the coffin like this. Anxiety induced of what? <laughs> so oh, like I here there I am um, ending I my life in that thing. For my husband the other day, and I'm like, but do you guys actually understand what it means to be a woman? Do you understand what it means to be a working, a woman in this economy, in this society? In this because present day, an economy this are not day. aligned. Mm. They are different, mm. you get. And they did not discuss mm. what a woman's role is. The society wants the woman, the woman, the way they, they want it. And true. the economy also needs the mm. woman now. Yeah. Mm. You get that the day of the age of, of um, this this gender norms is gone mm. it's gone and, and the economy is forcing it but you know we have no choice otherwise, otherwise we're we going to be poor. poor but you know what's funny is that for me i thought that obviously our generation is one of the generations that i think that was really really big on education government was big on education i remember they used to even arrest parents that don't take children to yeah. school when we're growing up right so you'd think that the gentleman we've sat in class with would would be a certain way right but let me surprise you the people we've gone to school with, your hobbies that you can think of, some of your hobbies, are they are telling their wives, I don't want you to work. They are there telling their wives, not school, like the wife, the same school, thank you, you not like the, the wife who said, oh, I think I, I, my child needs me, or that um, the work is toxic, and he's like, you know what, I can't take care of you, eh? First, first take a break, and then, mm-mm. There are you some of your hobbies that are in the like, same struggle as you. Like a one chiseka somewhere you sat with in class and played with at break time, is telling the wife right now that I don't want you to work. I want you to sit at home and take care of my kids and take care of the home. And it shocks me because we went to school together and this means that we are living in the same times, right? Yeah. And right now it's no longer really an option. Mm? Mm. If you can be, if you want to be a stay at home mom and you choose it for yourself, well and good. It's an excellent job. But, but I don't think right now the times call for man. you to force a woman yeah. to stay at home, to raise children and, and, you know, take care of the home and stuff. Yeah. Why? It's affecting their mental health. Do you know what it means? Uh, recently, my friend was coming back from maternity leave and like, I cannot wait to come back and have adult conversations with other people. Because you're always home. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Actually, check on your friends who just had babies. Check on your friends who have had babies and have been on maternity leave for a month or two. Mm. At some point, their minds are really tuned to just the crying of the baby that sometimes they start to imagine it. Yeah. You even start to imagine, is a child crying? Is a, you get, they, you, the husband, are coming back from work and you're tired, right? And you're going straight to bed. And she has been waiting the entire day like this anxiously. On the, like, when do you walk in so that I can now talk to someone saying, like someone else who is a fellow adult and stuff. But then you come and you're tired. You come in exactly at 10 or 11 because traffic. You sleep and then tomorrow you wake up and mm -hmm. go. And by like the second month or third month of maternity leave, you're crazy. So imagine having to do it for a year, for two years, for three years, for like, for like ever, right? Because someone is like, no, 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 please come and sit at home. And it's, we, 
you're telling a 30 year old person or 27 to sit at home like th their life has just literally begun so for yeah. how long for how long are they going to give you their lives? And it comes down to that thing you talked about of women have been asked to give everything, everything. to everyone like else. They are not allowed to have dreams. But themselves. You're, You're dreaming, dreaming too big. Yes. You, you know, know, we're, we're not, not supposed, supposed to have Don't be like, they even tell you, don't yeah. be like so and so. Don't be like those women of the unpopular opinion. They are over, they are over, over. Try Thank and... You. Try and tone it down. Just be yeah. cool, like tone it I mean, down. Then you you, you tone like, it down. When they clear is too much. Me, I'm too little. Prim is too. I don't know what. Like everyone is too. Yeah. Someone always has. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I, I actually, actually saw, saw a comment yes, yesterday on uh, on our uh, on our show, um, mm. and this, this person, person said Claire is not my cup of tea. You, you know, know, and this is a woman. Did you get what? I, this is a woman, and I didn't. And she put it like that's fine. I mean, really, it's okay. That's okay. I have people I dislike. Although the difference is, I'm not going around telling them. I don't yes. What is the purpose? What's the purpose? <laughs> sit down and think about. Yes. I'm going to make this comment. Who is it helping? Who is it helping? Who is it are you are you intending to make this person feel bad? And or like, how so, can I adjust and be your purpose? What kind of person are you? Yeah. Like, and if, if that's your aim, don't you think you should be analyzing your life? Hey, like, yeah. for you, your joy is in your other problem. Because like. <laughs> You, know, you don't need to like I anyone. Mean, back to, but, but do you, you walk up to people, people and say, Fiona, you know, me, I don't like you? Hmm. I think we just have to go back to self-assessing all yeah. the time. Like, yeah. there are things we need to assess. If you're angry with some woman for being mm. confident, why are you angry? Like, why are you mad that this woman yeah. is confident? What does it say about you? Yeah. yeah. You know? Whether yeah. you're a woman or a man, by the way. Yeah. Like, across the board. If you're annoyed, if you're seeing some woman in the workplace and she's prospering, and maybe she's, I don't know, she's just putting her foot down, doing what a boss does, mm. and you're interpreting it another way. Are you going back and reassessing your mm. feelings? Yeah. Did or you you're just, yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's it's, it's, yeah. It's, you she's really need to check yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. We should all continue to check ourselves, like, yeah. daily, daily. I don't know if you guys have any parting shots as we close. Just on that I issue. I feel like we need to start women. supporting. Them? I feel like I, it just women. needs to start and not with pretend us. to support them. Hmm. But really, and if you feel, one, one thing, thing I've always said, I keep saying this: mm -hmm. if you feel in your stomach that a confident, confident women bother you, it might be because you want to be confident. Mm -hmm. you, you know that yeah. feeling that, that you get, that yeah. you, mm -hmm. you really have a negative feeling about, about something, something that you don't even someone, someone you don't even know yeah. I, I used to feel it mm. I, I used I've, I've talked about this so many mm. times I used to watch Murugi those days before I was even confident mm. enough to come online mm. because, because I've been online for years people might think I've been online for years for years, 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 years and years and years I haven't it's only been since 2019 2020 actually 2020 you get it's not even four years this is my coming to my fourth year and Yes, yes, I've grown, grown into the confidence and whatnot, but I wasn't like that. Yeah, that's true. Before, 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 before that day I opened Bio on Boss Babe, I did not, you, you cannot even breathe I remember. any online, anything, yeah. because I was terrified. Yeah, I remember. You know? yeah. But, but I'd watch, watch people like Murugi and I'd judge. Mm. And it would make me feel bad in my stomach. Mm. But that's because I wanted to She dared to, to do like what her. you were not showing. Like, how to dare she? she? I didn't know it at that time, I know it How dare she be what I want to be? They have the balls. Where is, does, does this audacity grow from? Yeah. That you come and have the audacity to challenge mm -hmm. societal yeah. norms, to challenge and be confident on the screen and do what I want to do, but don't have the confidence yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get. And I keep preaching this to everyone. If you have that feeling that you see, not in your you don't stomach. like Fiona. Fiona is just ah. Uh, uh, mm. You get. Is it because you want to be or do yeah. something that's yeah. similar, but you just it's a whole. It's making you. hate. I hate the limelight. I yeah, hate, go. but do you? Be, do, do you? you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can never be me. Really? Mm. You help me think. You, you reminded me of, um, like, as we talk about this whole thing of you should be thinking about, mm. uh, like, when you see that, are you assessing mm. your own yeah. feeling in yes. your stomach, in your heart? Mm. It just made me think of um, mindfulness. Mm. Like, I'm on a journey of, 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 of that type of thing, let's call it that type of thing, like yeah. figuring out, like just like meditation, like mindful, like are you mindful about all the feelings? Yeah. Because we have a lot of feelings we go through in a day, oh, like a million, million, yeah. I don't even, like a zillion of yeah. them. And so I'm now starting to assess like everything that I feel. You know, if someone approaches me a certain way and I feel like a thing in my heart, mm. what is that? What am I feeling? Yes. What does it mean? Yes. Am I also, like, am I even doing meditation? Why does this I think about is, make what me is feel like this? in and mm. what is going mm. out? Mm. So, and those so you're processing. You're, you're not, not just letting things hit you 
work. Yeah, mm. so if I'm feeling, if something happens in the workplace mm. and I feel like a thing, and by the way, these things are okay, like it's okay that you feel jealous, mm. something. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. natural. Because we're just people. Natural, yeah. completely we're just natural. people. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I can do something and I feel, hey, mama, So envious, yes. Why isn't no, that happening for me? No, happening to me? Yeah. Those things are completely normal. What matters is how you handle them. Yeah. yeah. How do you handle those things? Are you working on Are you cutting tool? a chicken and putting it... <laughs> Getting the blood and spreading it over on the person's over house. A picture or a picture mm -hmm. of that. Uh, on, the, on my Instagram, <laughs> are you there on my reels throwing blood from the chicken? So what I'm saying is that let's support. Yeah. Let us support each other. Yeah. You might feel a bit envious of me, mm. or I might feel a bit envious. That problem is not the feeling; it's what you do with it. Yeah. yeah. So How are you yeah, going about it? Um, cultivate. I think cultivate practices that help you to to um, be a lot more mindful of everything mm. you're feeling. When you're mindful of those things, you're mm. reacting anyhow, you're yeah. treating mm. people anyhow, and you're also treating yourself badly. Yeah. Because you're not you're not actually identifying your what issues yeah. so that you can be able like to work on Because at the end of the day, it's you. Yeah, because yeah. always, I, I always say, like, when someone is talking to me and they're telling me, like, maybe there's this problem, I'm mm. like, oh, my God, you know, you've already done the first step, you've identified it. Yeah. You know what's wrong. Yeah. yeah. So then guess what? Now you can start to figure no, out what yeah. to do about it. And, and also saying it out loudly to yourself. Mm -hmm. You guys, yeah. it's okay to tell yourself, yes. I am prim like you, this. Yes, you yeah. are jealous of Fiona or Claire mm -hmm. because they got this and that. Okay, okay, you're jealous. Okay, what you feel, feel there is envy. Uh huh. So how are you? You know, step you can one. also get it. But you step know, I one. I feel like even in friend groups because we see a lot of, yes. especially younger women, people are lot are picking us up out mm. all the time. People are picking at me and Fiona. I mean, and me and Prim. Mm. And you know, people are always asking, "Is that this actually?" Legit. I know people who have been asked, are there, is their relationship, you know, real? real? Or now you they know? have some more chemistry. All three of us talk to and stuff. And you know, these feelings have come up. I won't mm -hmm. lie for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have felt envy. I have mm -hmm. felt, why not me? I have felt like people don't like me. They like other people. I have felt all those things. Mm -hmm. But because you guys are my friends, and I think maturity, it's not even mm -hmm. friendship, because maturity, mm -hmm. no, I, I, you know, you process those feelings and say, okay, I am a bit envious of Fiona, I'm a bit envious of Primo, whoever it is you in your life. Mm. My sister at the moment, you mm. know, because I've <laughs> talked about how, how I absolu I'm absolutely struggling with the fact that my sister is in a no. relationship, no. a committed relationship, so I don't have as much time. She doesn't have time for me anymore, yeah. Yeah. and yet she, need, she used to be my call. Mm. Anytime I need to go anywhere, my sister was there, but mm. she's not there anymore, so I'm struggling, mm. you get. And I, I recognize that. Mm. Yes, am I, am I, do I wish the worst for my sister? No. No. You get. And she knows, I tell her, can you come back? I miss you, you mm. know? And even to you guys, I've, I've also, you yeah, know, I've you communicate us, yes. if you have to. If you don't, also work through those feelings. At mm. times when you look at someone and you'll be like, her, Prim looks really nice with that hairstyle. Maybe I should do it as well. Mm -hmm. But for me, it won't look nice. Or, mm -hmm. you know. Then you start I've, bashing it. Exactly. And they, usually you'll be like, ha, she even has no, she mm -hmm. even does yeah. this and does that. And that's where it's wrong yeah. for you to be like, this is even fat. You yeah, get, yeah. You start giving you yourself that consolation. Yes, I, 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 I would be like, okay, Prim has lost weight, but she has, still has a bigger arm than mm. me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. If you, if you're saying uh, uh, you're, you're jealous and you're mm. making excuses for someone, mm -hmm. you get yeah. 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 And, yes, and we spend our lives doing that. We though, do. Eh? We do. Oh my god. And just and of, you, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Of, oh, her career is flourishing, but at least she's not married. There you go. At least she's not married. At, at least she doesn't have children. She's uh -huh. still suffering. To hey, get she's children. still suffering. You imagine know? how rich that woman is and how. Have but you ever she's not married. Tell you that this chick is pretty, but only because she's light skinned. Yes. Yes. Like, there's no world yes. in which she's not light skinned, so she's beautiful. So she's beautiful and that sick. There you go. Yeah. There you go. She's beautiful, but she has my big lips. I don't like. Yes. Yes. You get. So we're constantly tearing people apart yeah. for our you satisfaction. Know, for it's our the only way. But do you know that, that feeling, it. the moment your satisfaction is derived mm. from, from having to bring this, someone else it's not lasting. You have to, because it, it doesn't last. It doesn't. It's no. only lasts Very until temporary. you, you have its temper, yes. until you find another thing and another thing and another yeah, thing. So you can keep feeding yeah. that But also, monster. I wish, like, what part of the ways to, to, to like, conquer those things that the people you envy, eh? you know that some of these people are really kind. You just yeah. have to go to them and ask, how are you doing it? 
I'm you'd struggling. Be yes. You'd be surprised. You would you'd actually be so be surprised. surprised and amazed and at so how... And so many people are open about this. Yes, things. like if it's success in the career workplaces, you'll be so amazed at how someone will even be willing to mentor you. Of, or, you know, they, they're like, oh, you've done all these scholarships. You've been to all these schools. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, I know. There's I'm even sorry, another yeah, one that... There's even an ad that's running. That. You can do this and that. I really and do think... they you... don't help you, someone else Yes, will. and if they but don't, you know, someone else will. Yes. I really believe the things you put into the universe. Is what comes... Yeah, it really does come back. But my last point is... And let us allow each other to be different. Mm. Allow and appreciate the difference in other people. Yeah. That's what, yeah, that's we what do as women. We but for time, for, for centuries, women have been given the exact same. Mm. Our hair you has should to all look try the same. to look to, uh, the to, length to of our clothes need to be the same. Yeah. Yeah. And there's always kind of been a standard of mm. what a woman should do and look like. So, you know, you would get up, you would cook breakfast for the man, and it mm. looked exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. But we're in a society that's embracing differences and the beauty within those differences. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's how, when you embrace the beauty and difference in other people, even the things you don't like mm. about other people, that, that is their strength, mm. you know? Like, let's say when we keep saying she's too, she's too, she's too healed, mm. you know, sometimes it can be really annoying when you're coming to Fiona and say, Bambi, this person, this person, and Fiona is like, but maybe you should think about where they came from. And you're like, I just yeah. need my friend to, to sympathize yeah. with me, yeah. you know, and, but that is her strength. Yeah. And that is a strength that has kept this going, yeah. you know, for, for a exactly. while, yes. And, but it's also a strength that has poured into us. Mm. Now we are able <laughs> to heal we ourselves. We are better able <laughs> to, heal to heal ourselves. Exactly, because it looks really nice. Mm. If you're not the calmest person you'll ever know, you know. And just things like that. So what, 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 what we... What you don't like in someone else yeah. that can be annoying is actually a strength that yeah. we, you mm. can actually yeah. pick up from. from. Yeah. So if you look at Prim and say you don't like her confidence, the way she comes up and says, guys, hello to my waist, you know, or can, can you pick up from it instead of disliking it? Yeah. Yeah. Can you pick up from it? Can you be like, okay, tomorrow talk to I'm yourself going kindly. To talk to myself kindly. kindly. Yeah. Talk to so yourself. You know, Prim nicely. comes and covers us her beauty every day, and it's okay. Talk to yourself. You know, nicely. and yeah. I know a lot of people dislike it. Yeah. But that yeah. is on them. Yeah. You know, that difference. That is, is a you problem. Yeah. Well, let us learn to pick up the differences in other people yeah. and use them as learn to mm. help us grow. Yeah. yeah. Instead Amen. of try to squash yeah. them mm. and yeah and the yeah. more we accept them also the, the more we pour like you allow other people to be confident yeah because yeah. if i'm speaking kindly not just to myself and mm. others so then everyone has more a more like more yeah. measure we're yeah. giving each other more of a measure yeah. so anyway guys those are some of our very very many thoughts on confident women and how we treat them how we treat us how we treat each other and we definitely want to hear from you guys whether it's you're a woman or a man you know your thoughts on how you've been treating the confident women are you going to take some time to start reassessing to be honest, some of your thoughts to be honest, yeah. some of your uh, the way you're treating others um but that's it from us i guess and yeah. until next time don't forget to subscribe